Hello, my name is Mike Johnson. Take you on an inside and outside video tour of this 2019 Jayco Class A Shorty Motorhome. Now, hold on a minute. This one is really kind of special and unique because it has a full air ride suspension on it, which is very rare unless you're looking at diesel pushers. Most all of these Class A motorhomes are strictly sprung suspension, but I'm gonna show you a little bit later video underneath of the air suspension. It has air suspension. It still has springs on the front for, that's how the design is, but it has air ride plus springs on the front and a full air ride on the rear, which is really unique. That's a major upgrade. And this is a lightweight coach. So right here you can see the floor plan and specifications. So if you wanna know how long is it, how wide is it, how tall is it, how many gallons of water it holds, that's it right there on the spec sheet. Pause your video or rewind back and you should be able to see that. Now this video, you can watch it on your giant TV in your living room if you have a 50 60 or 80 inch tv if you're lucky enough in your living room this is a youtube video so you're going to go to my youtube channel my best car com as you see in the text and you can watch the video on your big tv otherwise enjoy if you're watching on your little phone or your little computer or your laptop or your ipad it is a youtube video so you can watch it on the big tv get a better feel for what you're looking at and if you pause it you can probably read the text so jayco with a j-ride suspension this one has a full wall slide out has a solar battery charging system on the roof a big one 190 watts i believe big solar power plant on the roof to charge the battery so when you park it in the sun the battery's charging even if you're not running the generator and you're not running the plug-in power to a, an outlet, it's still charging the battery from the big solar panel on the roof. This is also very special for another reason. This one has two roof air conditioners. So it's a short motorhome with two roof air conditioners. Most of these shorties only have one roof air conditioner, but it has two. And, uh, it has the more fuel efficient 4,000 watt generator. It's a little bit smaller generator. Usually, if you have the small 4,000 watt generator, you cannot run two ACs, but those air conditioners on the roof are the more expensive, uh, high efficiency, soft starting ones that you can run both from 4,000 watt generator and it doesn't mess up the generator. So it is pretty unique. This is a 2019, so it has some of these newer features, but it's also not the base model. You see it's white. They all used to be white, but some people really like white because here in Southern California, it gets really hot. White reflects more wavelengths of light, pretty much all of them. So it theoretically will stay cooler. Some people say, oh, the color doesn't make it stay cooler. The reality is because of the white color and the shiny glossy exterior, white reflects all the colors of the spectrum. The ones you really need it to reflect are infrared to keep it from heating. But uh, it does that quite well because it's glossy, shiny. It looks like brand new. It looks almost unused, but it does have miles on it. So the floor plan is the 29S floor plan i don't know if you can scan that little qr code to find out from jayco one nice feature this has a power awning it's got a gigantic awning which you can see we're extending out here this is a big like a 20 foot 21 foot awning with the center support so it doesn't bend when you go over bumps when you're driving it's a really nice and really large one. 
most RVs don't have an awning this big. This is a really big awning. So if you like to kick back under the awning, you have a nice big one, which covers your outside kitchen. Another thing that sets this RV apart, this has an outside kitchen. So I'm gonna explain. This is a special outside kitchen because this sink drains into its own private gray water tank. What you have to realize when you come to look at RVs and you say, I want an RV with an outside kitchen. Sure, that's fine. This line here, this little trim piece, that identifies where the floor of the motorhome is inside. And the water tanks mostly on most motorhomes, including this one, are mounted right on the bottom of the floor as high as possible, but just low enough that the sewer from the toilets and the sinks will drain into them. But this sink is lower than the floor. So why that's a big deal, if you look at other motorhomes like say, Thor Motor Coach, Ace, or Hurricane with the outside kitchen, they don't have their own gray tank. They drain into the regular tank. So they hide a little switch somewhere under the counter. You have to push the switch which runs a macerator pump, which pumps the water into your tank. The problem is you wash your hands, the sink fills up, then you got to hit the switch. So you're constantly washing, hitting the switch as the sink gets full. You don't have that problem because this has its own dedicated gray water dump tank. So when you go to dump, you have an extra tank that you can hook your hose up and dump the gray water from the outside kitchen. You don't always have to do it, only if you use the outside kitchen you have to dump your outside gray water and there is a fridge out here in your outside kitchen nice clean fridge it looks like brand new inside it's mostly a drink handling fridge small drink handling fridge and this counter out here this is actually feels like metal it might be plastic plastic coated metal it's actually metal a lot of these have little particle board outside kitchens but this is actual I would say this is a metal uh, counter with a metal sink so if the rain gets in there it's it's not gonna um you shouldn't rust it because it looks like it's powder coated and it shouldn't fall apart because it's not particle board so if you live in harsh climates and another thing this door opens all the way up some outside kitchens when you use them you're banging your head on the door that covers them because they just sit slightly shorter than the height of your head so there's a lot of special things about jayco jayco was a family-owned business not a wall street corporation so they do a lot of detail i'm going to show you the cargo compartments after we go inside when we come back out i'm going to show you the cargo compartments and more of the features so let's go inside when we come back out we'll look underneath we'll look at the roof we'll look at the cargo compartments so we're going inside the 29s floor plan jaco as we go in so these little yellow tags the first one is the cargo carrying capacity warning label now the empty weight of this motorhome is approximately 15,500 pounds more or less and then so you can carry 2,467 pounds of passengers and cargo uh, safety belt equipped capability is eight seat belts and when you towing a trailer the maximum combined weight of RV plus trailer is 23,000 pounds and again there's the empty weight of the vehicle so minus 23,000 7,000 pounds of trailer plus passengers plus cargo capability it has a 5,000 pound hitch as we go in the slides are closed right now. There's one super slide, full wall slide. And you can easily go in, view the television, walk from the front to the back, sleep on the bed. So if you have to put this at your house, 
in the side yard and you might in case you have a smaller house with no room to open the slide you could still use this as a guest room at your house so your guests can come out here and sleep in the bed for the holidays thanksgiving and christmas you know and they cannot put the slide out if unless they want to and you have room for it right now the tvs are scanning for channels we found hundreds of channels on just over the air broadcast antenna television so we're going to open the slide it's a full wall slide take a look at the seats there seats in excellent condition with two-tone fabric material this is a very durable material it should not come apart if you've seen some rvs the material falls apart this should be something more durable 40 inch giant television two air conditioners on the roof so let's extend the slide it goes out in just seconds it's super easy this is a simple to operate rv you don't have to have a phd to operate this one if you do that's fine the slide goes out it extends out and then you have a lot more room with just one slide the whole kitchen and bedroom cabinets move out and now you have a walk around queen bed you can pass all the way around to the other side look in your bedroom you have your bedroom television it successfully found channels this is the rear AC control so you have a 13,500 BTU air conditioner over the bedroom you have another 13,500 AC over the front now on shorter 29 foot motorhomes it's very rare to find two ACs usually under 30 feet you'll only get one AC on the roof but this has two these are the soft starting uh, air conditioners which means you can run both even if you're plugged into a smaller 4000 watt generator a dream dinette it actually has high backrests it's a very comfortable table this is a dream dinette it goes there's no leg to support it and it has a fancy mechanism that goes down to turn this into a bed sleeping area and we got two seat belts there two seat belts there that's and two in the front that's six seven eight seat belts in the motorhome eight seat belts total and the windows have these roller shades over the windows pull them down you have there are basically blackout curtains so you can close them and keep all the sun off your upholstery when you're in storage or if you like to sleep late you can pull them down and block out the sun so you don't have to wake up earlier than you like there's storage beside the bed little cabinets beside the bed little nightstands it's probably wide enough you could fit a queen mattress a king mattress on here if you really needed to but right now it has a queen in here there's storage over the bed all the cabinet woodwork looks really nice in here a lot of cabinet space when you compare an A-class to a C-class you have much bigger storage on an A-class inside storage outside basement storage on a C-class it's much smaller this is an A-class you've got lights over the bed you can turn these on nice flooring material as we go around we can turn on the lights view our flooring material go in the bathroom area you've got a really fancy towel racks in here for lots of towel capacity because of these towel racks fancy little towel racks up there 
The housekeeper came through and cleaned this up. This has been professionally cleaned inside. Brand new, high efficiency water faucet installed. This one even has a shampoo and soap dispenser. Large cabinets in the restroom area. Large stainless steel sink. Again, professionally cleaned by the housekeeper. Toilet. Your control center here. This has a pocket door for privacy with an extra little strap to secure it. And a magnetic stopper that holds it open or you can close it and lock it if you need to. A little magnet holds it open but an extra assurance so that when you're driving and slam on the brakes it doesn't come slamming closed. There's also a pocket door for privacy in the bedroom area. And this is designed so that if you forget and you close the slide with the door, it will automatically not be damaged. I've seen some RVs with doors that open like this and they get ripped off by closing of the slides, but you don't have that problem with this design. This is Jayco. Over the front seats, we have a electric bunk bed. We'll bring that down in a minute. And then we have the kitchen. Nice solid surface countertops, sink covers, stainless steel, double sink. And the sink covers for extra counter space. Three burner cooktop. Lights up right away. All three burners are operating. Full residential size microwave oven. Again, the housekeeper has cleaned everything in here. This is really, really clean inside. Super clean in here. With both air conditioners blasting away here, it's very comfortable. Now there's a table that you can remove or install. This table so you can use the front seats to complement your seating area. Plenty of seating space for eight people in here when you go on your RV trips. If you put the seats, swivel them to the forward position, then there's no issue release this little seatbelt looking buckle here and the electric bunk drops down into position over the front seats and you have a ladder to access it you can access it with the ladder you have a little safety guard so if you have smaller kids so they won't roll off you can put deploy these or remove these. There's, a, there's another one for the front side right here. This gizmo in the roof is aiming of the TV antenna. I mentioned that big 40 inch TV. There are three t digital TVs. But if you go to a place and you're not getting a good signal, you can release the antenna lever and aim it in different directions to try to get a little bit better signal. Again, this is a Jayco Alante. Has a nice big RV refrigerator in it. There is solar power on the roof. So if you do dry camping, what you need to know about the different camping, this is an absorption style refrigerator. That means it uses 110 volts power when it's plugged in or when it's not plugged in or also when it's running the generator but when it's not plugged in it uses propane and the rv battery to cool so you could have this refrigerator running for weeks at a time even the lights and the tvs if you're running out in the desert and uh, this will 
very minimal use on the battery and the solar panel on the roof would probably charge the battery faster than this would use the battery. So this is an ideal refrigerator for dry camping. Some RVs you look at, they have large residential refrigerators that have a compressor. Those compressor style refrigerators use a lot of battery power. So, on a, not this type, the residential type, you may drain the battery in one or two days. While we're talking about the batteries, this RV does have an inverter. So if I push this little switch here, I can turn on the inverter and that inverter, if you're not plugged into power, you're not running the generator, the inverter provides energy to the TVs and the outlets. So you don't have to run the generator when you're dry camping. You don't have to be plugged in, but you can still watch TV. If you do want to start the generator, you can. I'm going to try to start it right now. It is very low hours on this generator. Right now it has 34 hours on the generator. Only 34 hours is almost, the generator is effectively brand new. The generator's on now. 34.0 hours on the generator. Now, at least 10 of those hours are just me running it. I ran it for like five hours yesterday just to exercise it. We had to put a brand new carburetor on the generator because it wasn't used enough. So we have been exercising it. It has automatic transfer switch for power. So when you turn on the generator, it kicks on. And as we go below here, we have a little panel here. Let's explain what this is, the power control system. So if you can see on the display, it says generator 33 amps. So we have 33 amps of power coming in. Now if I stop the generator because we are plugged in, it automatically switches to service at 30 amps. So it actually has a little bit more power on generator to run both air conditioners. And notice these ACs are still running. They never turned off between stopping and starting the generator. They're still running. The air electrical system is very stable in this coach. And one of the reasons is this device. This is a power control system. So if I push select, we can change it to 20 amp service. We can change it to 15 amp service or leave it at 30 amp service. What does that mean? Well, 15 amp would be like your residential outlet that you would plug in your cell phone or your crock pot or your toaster or your hair dryer into. These are 15 amp outlets. So if you go to a campground that only has, or you're at your house and you only have a 15 amp outlet that you can plug it into, you select 15 amp power. And this device will shut everything off that uses more than 15 amps to prevent you from popping a circuit breaker on your house. If you have more power available, if you have 20 amps, you can set it for 20, but normally you would leave it at 30 if you're at the campground with 30 amps, there's plenty of power to run both air conditioners, refrigerators, water heaters, all of those things. As we continue to talk about electricity, we have two water heater capabilities, a propane gas water heater and electric water heater. That's water heater for showers, sinks, washing dishes, outside shower. When you have both water heaters on, you can take nice long showers, especially at a full hookup campground. When you're at a full hookup campground, leave the gray valve open and the water on and you can take unlimited length showers if you want using your dual water heat. If you want to be a little more conservative, you can call it a quick recovery. It is a six gallon capacity water heater and with both on it recovers hot water very quickly. This shower head that we mentioned we replaced, this is a two gallon per minute shower head. So you can take nice long showers without incinerating yourself. Now there's also a tank heater over here. This is 
if you go camping in the winter time and you're worried about your tanks freezing you can turn these heaters on they have thermostats if it gets near freezing these heaters will come on this is your water pump switch so if you're dry camping you can turn on the water pump or let's say you're driving down the road and you need to use the restroom and you don't want to stop somebody gets up they use the restroom make sure you turn on the water pump and they can flush the toilet while you're driving just like if you were on a Greyhound bus or some luxury bus now this is slide extend retract this is the level test we did dump all our tanks we have fresh water on board to test it black gray one and gray two there's two gray tanks gray one is for the shower water and the sink water gray two is the outside uh, kitchen has its own gray tank and you have a level test to make sure that that's empty we don't need the inverter because we are plugged into 110 outlet you press and hold for a second and then release to turn it on and off that's how that works mid wall light switches everywhere I a lot of people that buy RVs are not as tall as the ceiling there's no light switches on the ceiling they're all on the wall you don't have to reach the ceiling to turn the lights on and off in this coach there's no light switches on the ceiling so if you're three years old or 83 years old you don't have to worry about reaching the ceiling to turn the lights on and off that was common in some RVs they have switches on the roof but you don't have to worry about that going back to the counter cabinets there's lots of cabinets in this RV lots of high quality storage for all your goods Jayco has a 1-800 number if you have need it for assistance you can call their 800 number if you're forget how to do something lots of storage let's peek in here see if there's anything in the storage no scratches no damage on the storage no wear and tear owner's manuals in these big bags these are your owner's manuals for the coach now I do my business a little bit different I am an RV dealer and we go through and we try to fix everything to make sure everything's working this one has a satellite receiver box in here the Wally receiver dish network so it has satellite TV capability but that's not satellite that's over the air broadcast from in here in Southern California from Mount Wilson TV transmitter HD TV broadcast for free you don't have to subscribe to satellite you can if you're gonna go into remote areas and you still want TV but you don't have to these are very reliable and quiet air conditioners another thing about these air conditioners they're not very loud you can have a conversation in here this is a chill grill you can close this if you close the chill grill it forces all the AC through the ducts there's a H shaped ducts coming from the air conditioning units to distribute the air throughout the coach you can open these like let's say you were out do doing some exertion in the sun and you're hot you can stand under here and blast yourself but normally if you keep these closed it gives you cross flow ventilation to evenly cool the coach inside from the air conditioning don't forget about the floor this floor looks like a real wood floor it's not it's a laminate this floor is a very high quality vinyl that looks like real wood Jayco has some really nice floors in their coach you go in with Jayco and he's like man this thing the floor looks great really nice looking flooring nice thick mattress over the bed and it has a bed mattress protector on it it's a beautiful coach something you could be proud of owning when you're done camping let's demonstrate how easy it is to lift the bed this has the very effective bed lift on it raising it up and just to secure it all you do is buckle this little seat belt that prevents it from going down it deactivates the down button and then you can put the table away you can jump in the driver's seat we're gonna go on a test drive in a second first that's your leveling jacks right there your mirror heat battery jump start 
power shades, power mirrors, a cell phone holder. So get your navigation by phone if you just want to sit your phone here. It's got a little place to sit your phone, cup holder, headlight switch, rotate to turn on, rotate to turn off. That's your dimmer control. We turn on the key. This RV has 15,753 miles on it. It's warning us that the jacks are down right now. That's why it's beeping. We have little menus that we can toggle through. So it shows 89 degrees outside, 230 miles to empty, 333 engine hours, 268 miles on the trip, and 89 degrees outside. The check engine light is on because the engine is not running. We can start the engine all the way up. But then it's going to beep to remind you the leveling jacks are on. If you release the parking brake and the brake light comes on to let you know the parking brake, the brake light goes off to let you know the parking brake was released, and then the automatic retract of the jacks will happen. Right now we have almost a half take of fuel. That's your temperature gauge, your transmission gauge, and water gauge. You can also do a systems check. Press reset for systems check. And it's going to check. Transmission is okay. Oil pressure is okay. Just checking everything, let you know everything is okay. Over here is our radio, which is the main feature for a lot of people. We have AM, FM, Bluetooth, stereo, side view cameras. So I have the slide open right now and I turn on the turn signal and we get the side view camera. Very crystal clear picture on the side view backup camera. And uh, we'll show that again when we're driving. That was the backup camera flashing on there. And then you can go through and you can go to your main menu and select radio, CD. Bluetooth, satellite radio. I didn't mean to touch it. USB or GPS. For GPS, it has navigation built into it. So you actually have navigation on this RV. It's got Bluetooth hands-free capability as well. You've got your light switch here. That turns on the cab over light up there. Generator start and stop switch, dash AC, which blows nice and cold. And then uh, all these features are on a little radio pod here. You've got another little remote pocket there, cup holder over there, cup holder over there. So we're going for a little test drive in the Jayco Alante 29-foot floor plan motorhome. Because it's only 29 feet, it's easy to drive, super easy, great visibility down the sides. A lot of people will th might think that the C-Class motorhome is easier to drive than the A-Class because it looks like a van in the front. Here's a picture of a C-Class. Nope, A-Class is much easier to drive than the C-Class. This is an A-Class. And the reason why it's easy to drive is if I look at my mirrors, I can see straight down the sides of the motorhome. I have excellent visibility. This one has the cockpit window shade, which is halfway down. I can put it all the way up. Excellent visibility. This one's also, remember this is unique because it has the air ride suspension system and soon I'm going to show you underneath and you can have a look at that air ride suspension in this video. Side view camera, so when I turn on the right turn signal I have a side view camera so I can reference the side of the motorhome. See, I can judge my distance to the curb or I could use the mirrors as well. Same thing for the left side, left turn signal. 
left side view mirror uh, camera comes on. We're just driving around on this little residential street here. This is a, a, a intersection. Let's see if nobody's coming. We can do a backing up three point turn. Slip it into reverse. And make a turn using only the mirrors and we can back it right around this corner here pulling up next to the stop sign and then we can go the opposite direction it's very easy to drive a Class A motorhome. Also, if I take a quick peek at what the Class A chassis looks like, it has a very tight turning radius because you have bigger 19.5 inch wheels and tires. They can turn sharper from lock to lock, giving you a little bit better turning radius. than a C-Class. And this one is a shorty, so it's even easier to drive, maneuver, and park, being that it's only 29 feet. You can buy the big mega RVs up to 45 feet long. I'm gonna lower my window shade as I drive towards the sun. If you're driving towards the sunrise or the sun in the morning or the sunset in the evening, you can lower your power window shade so you can keep on driving and you can still see the road even when other people cannot. You also have these side window shades which you can raise or lower. The, my wife likes these because she doesn't like the sun shining in hot on her sometimes on the RV trips that we take. Excellent visibility driving around in this neighborhood. Now that we've gone on our little test drive, we've even got storage cubbies over the front seats on both sides. So I promised we would look at the cargo compartments. Here we go. This is the outside kitchen, which I showed you earlier. It does have storage. This one even comes with a little salt shaker in there and some napkins. Some bottles of kitchen supplies, barbecue cleaning kit. Pass through storage. This storage goes all the way through to the other side and has a light in here. A little light, LED light you can turn on. This is your battery compartment. There's a release here. You can release and slide the batteries out to extend them. That's your propane tank. Nice big permanently mounted propane tank. You just drive it to the propane filling station. And as we're looking at the cargo, these are your air pressure gauges that show your airbags are full and how much pressure you have them. I have them, the needle split right now so you could see there's two gauges on here. One for the each of those airbags and this is the rear airbag air pressure on the other side. Right here is a little gas tap. So if you hook up an outside barbecue to go with your outside kitchen, you can run off the onboard propane and of course we have our leveling jack unit and the batteries are secured there this cargo compartment is another full pass-through to the other side we've got water hoses included in the motorhome and our solar charge controller for the solar panel on the roof is located in here up high and it's actually charging the battery right now here in the parking lot the front mini micro cargo compartment got a couple things in there your engine compartment we'll just peek in there through the grill this has a nice grill you can reach in there look at the headlights look how shiny and glossy they are 
we're on the sunny side another micro mini cargo compartment your 4000 watt generator which i showed you earlier it runs super smooth some buckets to keep your waste hoses in and a little uh, grade leveler your dumping station for black and gray water tanks the main black and gray tanks the other side of a pass-through storage compartment and a couple planks of wood here if you need to set them under your leveling jacks your main hookup with your water valves and connection points black water flush water hose and a water filter for the coach and your your 30 amp power cord left side fuel point you could store hoses in these bumpers but i don't recommend it your tow package rated for 5,000 pounds with seven pin connector and the four pin connector so we're taking a look underneath you see that is the gray water tank for your outside kitchen your gasoline tank and there's a closer look at your airbag suspension supporting the rear on this specific rv i'm including some video of examples by the manufacturer but uh, your tire treads nice and thick that's your air ride suspension it gives you a full air ride on the rear and your 80 gallon fuel tank your leveling jacks your tires Goodyear tires, your drive axle, your muffler, propane tank, no rust, no corrosion. This is corrosion free underneath. That was also your a peak at the catalytic converter. Notice this is a small short coach, but it has a double step. A lot of these shorter coaches only have a single step. This one has a double. That's your exhaust, no rust on the exhaust. urethane bushings on the suspension and you have airbag suspension that's your front tires if we get in there you can see the airbags on top of the axle there in the center of the spring that's the front air suspension you can increase or decrease the air pressure for that full urethane bushings on the suspension instead of the cheaper factory rubber bushings tire tread is excellent Another look at the catalytic converter, stainless steel exhaust system, leveling jacks, that's the bottom of the generator, generator exhaust, drive line, parking brake cables, water hoses that are insulated, tire tread, all excellent tire tread. Mud guards, and the other side of the air suspension for the rear. You can see that big round thing that's your airbag that's the weight of the rv sits on when you're driving down the road giving you a soft squishy ride and there's a, another look at the gray water tank for your uh, outside kitchen that's a very special feature it lets you uh use that gray water tank just for the kitchen we're up on the roof taking a look at the solar panel installed on the roof and two air conditioners factory installed now these rooftop air conditioners are unique soft start units soft start means they don't take a big surge of power to start up which is why you can run two of them on only a 4000 watt generator these are more expensive ac units i believe they're like uh, almost double the price of the regular air conditioner units that require a bigger generator but it lowers the cost of running the RV because you're not burning the gas required to run a 5500 watt generator it's a little bit smaller it saves a little bit of fuel up front is the windshield full, full one-piece windshield and a molded front cap you got tiny little LED clearance lights on the very front is your digital 
over the air broadcast TV antenna and your radio antenna. Then you have the front air conditioning unit, your weatherproof vent cover. That means you can leave the vent open in your bathroom when you're using the RV or when you're storing the RV and you don't have to worry about rain coming in and intruding, damaging your wood and floor and stuff like that. So that protects the vents even if you leave them open. Also over the bathroom you get a good look at the skylight. Those little tiny round things are your stand pipes for your drainage. And then is a, another look at the solar panel. So my name is Mike Johnson. I thank you for watching my video tour of this 2019 Jayco. Go to the website or my YouTube channel. Both are mybestcar.com. Now on YouTube, there's no dot. But on the internet, is this mybestcar.com. That's the website. Check if this RV is still available or do I have something very similar to it for sale? And also on the website will be the price. Now, if you're gonna buy it from us, you wanna buy this one, you're gonna pay your check only to the order of, the company name is A Buyer's Choice. So pay to the order of a buyer's choice. If you somebody tells you to pay it to Joe Sampson or any other name, that's not us. So you can buy this safely from us. We've been in business for 22 years as a dealer, auto and RV dealer. That's my name, Mike Johnson. Give me a call, 951-681-2101 if you need to reserve this motor home before somebody else gets it. Or ask questions about other motorhomes that are available in stock. Thank you for watching my video.